I messed up. And I'm willing to bet that you all did too. We all get into high school excited about the opportunities that await us. A wider range of courses and clubs to pick from. But then somewhere along the way, it becomes all about GPAs, AP courses, etc., etc., etc. And yes, to a certain extent, those are all important, but not at the expense of something that's even more crucial, discovery and building interest. And that's a lesson that I learned much too late. Two years ago, COVID shut the world down. We were all stuck in our homes. We couldn't leave unless we absolutely had to. We were stuck to our screens all day, and our only pastime was watching Netflix. So pretty much nothing changed for me personally, but, but in all seriousness, during quarantine, I always felt like I didn't get to do everything that I wanted before. So I decided to make this year all about trying out the things that I'd missed out on. One of those was DECA. Now, it didn't always make sense for me to join DECA because DECA was an organization for prospective business majors. And I, as you can clearly tell, have always been interested in computer science. But DECA ended up being one of the most unexpectedly educational, enriching, and just fun experiences of my life, where I got to meet new people, build connections, where I got to learn how to think quickly and improvise in unfamiliar situations. And that's when I first started to realize the mistakes that I'd made. One of my friends had been in DECA for all four years of high school and had been trying to get me to join. And, that's, and I'd, I'd always been hesitant to join, and I'd always just brush it off to the side until this year for two reasons, one of which was the possibility of an almost all expenses paid trip to Orlando and Disneyland was pretty enticing. But the second was I had the safety blanket of senior year. But when I walked on stage at the state competition, as a state finalist, that's when I first started to have the thoughts. Did I just miss out on something huge? If I'd done this two years ago, would everything have changed? Because of my early intention for my career path, I'd not opened myself up to new experiences and a new path, one that I could have potentially taken. Now, DECA is a huge organization, but what about the smaller ones? What about the ones that you actively have to try to seek out and find yourself? One of my friends is involved in a new club, and it shocked me when I found out what they were working on. They're working on educational courses for children in Ethiopia. The name of the club is Kapel Rotary Interact. I want to ask you, how many of you have heard of this club? Raise your hands. Of those people, how many of you have heard about that project that they're working on? My friend said he thinks about three-ish percent of the school know about it. And I think that pretty much tracks over here, seeing how many of you raised your hands. Which I find, for the lack of a better word, insane. Because it's a project that is truly changing the world for the better. And, the, and all of you resume patterns, I know you'd kill to have this on your resume. Don't lie to me. I can just imagine Stanford running to you with a scholarship. But all joking aside, I would not have known about this club if it weren't for my friend. And to be honest, I don't think I'd have tried to seek it out either. Even within organizations, there are opportunities you could miss out on. For example, I'm in the school newspaper, and this is the first year that I tried out covering a sports game, which I ended up absolutely enjoying, and I felt like it defined this year for me. And even this talk that I'm giving here, because I, this is my first year in debate, and I always felt like I didn't get to do enough with my ear. So when this opportunity came up, I absolutely jumped at it. Pretty meta, right? But the point is that there are so many opportunities available for us, but we just don't take, take advantage of them, either because of our preconceived notions, an unwillingness to seek them out, or just plain ignorance. 
Now, the first example that I gave with DECA was a hypothetical what could have happened. But the point is to make it not a hypothetical. Make it a choice that you had the chance to make instead of regretting it for years to come. Reflecting on what I did, I came up with a few simple steps so that you could avoid the same mistake that I did. Connect, don't ignore it, engage, and decide. The first step is connect. Research has shown that high schools don't place enough emphasis on career exploration. So it's up to students to do it themselves. And the easiest and most effective way to find the opportunities is through the people involved in them. So make an effort to expand your network and find the interesting people around you. Even outside of high school, this becomes even more important because in college and in the workplace, the only way you might be able to do anything worthwhile is through the connections that you make. The second step is don't ignore it. So often, an opportunity will come up, and we just put it aside for maybe we'll do it later, or maybe we just don't think it's for us. And that's the biggest leap that you have to take. Don't ignore it. Give it a shot. Talk to the people involved in it about it. Do the research. But there is a step two and a half to that, though. Open your mind. So often when these opportunities come across us, we think that it's not for us. And maybe it's not. But it's not up to us to make that judgment with the limited information that we have. So do the research and then make that call. Step three is engage. If you found something that you feel like you're interested in, dive in. Don't put partial effort. Now, I know that is a generally a tough ask considering the busy lives of high schoolers and people, but try to get the most out of it as much as you can. And finally, decide. Now that you have the experience and the knowledge, you can now make the decision if you want to continue it or not. Decision that you continue it or not. Now, maybe it's changed your whole career outlook. And maybe it's not, but now you truly know and you don't have to wonder because you can solidify your decision to build the future that you now truly know that you want. You all know the quote, ignorance is bliss. Now, I'm not saying that ignorance applies here and it doesn't always apply everywhere, but I feel like it makes a good example. Now, ignorance can be bliss. It surely was for me because I never gave it a second thought when I closed myself off from opportunity. But all it takes is one thought. Could I have done something more? And that turns into years of wondering of what you could have done differently. So I think there's a better way to put that quote. Ignorance is a moment of bliss, but a lifetime of regret.